Traveling around the world, there are few places on earth as spectacular as Angkor Wat. These incredible temples, built between the 9th and 14th century, are at the heart and soul of the Kingdom of Cambodia. This once great power of Southeast Asia is just now coming out from its recent history, as peace has finally come to this beautiful country. And today, we get a chance to explore that beauty and experience the spirituality that is Angkor Wat. I'm Michael. And I'm Alan. And this is Destination Unknown. Anchor Wat. Well, this is one of the things that I always enjoy about traveling is even if you come to a place years ago, you can always come back. I was here in Angkor Wat seven years ago. For me, the biggest difference now is the amount of people that are here. Cambodia has opened up its gates to the world and the world's coming. I've been hearing about the Angkor Wat for many years from Michael and it's one of the seven power spots in the world and I've always looked forward to coming here and I'm not disappointed. Yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. One of the things I'm always intrigued about as a carpenter myself, when you can come to these places and how the hell do they put all this stuff together? It's just absolutely mind-boggling. Bayan, which is the temple behind us, is definitely the second most popular temple here in all of Angkor Wat. And it's easy to see why. When you start to walk around and you see all these stone carved faces and all of the relief work done in the, to the rock here, it's absolutely phenomenal. When Cambodia first opened up its gates about 10 years ago, there was very few people coming here. And really the only people coming here was the backpacker and the travelers. Now it's a tourist city, but it's one of those things you have to accept. This is good for Cambodia right now and it's good for these people. Al and I are going to take off and explore the rest of Angkor Wat with Destination Unknown. Angkor Wat, Cambodia. But one of the things here in Angkor Wat, there's many different ways to be able to get around and to explore the surrounding areas. Most of these people here are all in tour groups on these buses. A lot of people are driving around with mopeds. But one thing when you do this is you have freedom to walk around and explore. And definitely by far the best way to explore Angkor Wat is by foot. All of the temples that make up Angkor Wat offer different adventures, whether it's making your way down ancient staircases or walking through peaceful courtyards you immediately begin to realize the vastness of this ancient kingdom. And as you gaze upon some of the outer walls, you begin to appreciate the painstaking craftsmanship that went into the building of this incredible complex. So Alan, what do you think of uh, Angkor Wat? So far, it's very impressive. We